So here's my Alien 560 that I've built up and gave it its first test flight and yeah, all the reports are correct. These landing skins are rubbish. Have a look at this. They are just very, very flimsy. And any mildly incorrect landing, which this one was very mild. That's the result. So when you order your Alien 560 frame, because the frame in itself is a brilliant design, get these landing skids. I've actually ordered two because I want two of the bottom cross struts. So I'll probably show you that when I've finished building it up. And I've got the old KK 2.1 on there. I've got this one. The new KK 2.1 case version, the external. External management interface. So couldn't resist, had to give this one a try. See how it goes. So this is what I meant by the double boom on the bottom. I bought the second frame here, which I'll just keep the spare parts, but the second, the bottom boom part makes this now a really stable frame. Whereas when you just have the one going across the middle here, it wobbles around. I'm sure anyone that's used these frames, but now with the two out on the ends like that, it gives you a really good solid frame. So how I'm going to do this is just a bit of double sided tape, place it down onto the frame centrally and uh, then a few cable ties to hold it in place. I found this works really well on other frames. This one's got lots of nice holes to put the cable ties on to hold it in place. The double sided tape just keeps it all nice and firm and gives a bit of extra vibration dampening. The KK 2.1 HC doesn't quite fit many of the bolt holes here, so I just had to drill a few extra little holes in the bottom. See how it goes, but I may have to put a bit of foam in there just for a bit of a cushion. The bolts probably won't make any difference, but bolted on pretty well. Nice to see a good hard case for the KK 2. And there it is. Battery holder. You can slide it back along to the side of the back. A bit of balance required. Got one more plate that I can sit up here for a second battery for the gimbal if required. And uh, we're good to put it all back together. This KK2 hard case with the external controller. So you can set it all up and unplug it to fly. Brilliant. Some very clever people out.